lay curl. She's cast it up, same exact thing here. If you have a lay curl machine, use a lay curl machine. I can use manual resistance. Let's tempo this one. I want you to pull up as fast as you can. We're going to do a five second negative on the way down. So ready, set, pull. High as you can. Come on, high as you can. Four. Resist now, five seconds. Five, Come on, four. four three, two, one. Now pull up fast, 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 fast. fast. Good, fight me down. As I gain a leverage advantage towards the bottom, I'm obviously giving less resistance here. Pull up fast, 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 fast. Good, good resistance. Two more. Ready, go. Over up, over up, over up. Finish up the top. Fight me down. Hold it, Leah. Hold it, Leah. Nice. Let's go. Ready, go. Over up, over up. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Resist down. Resist. Keep fighting, keep fighting. So if she has a cast and it's only below the knee, free to move through a hip extension movement. So we're still hitting the glutes. Why do we go in that order? We want to hit the major muscles first. So beyond this, I could do a leg extension. I could do more variations of the hip abduction. I could do a lying hip flexion, bent knee, straight leg. What do I try to do? I look at the musculature that I want to develop. I find the biggest, the most bang for the buck first, so I'm going to hit the glutes, I'm going to hit the hips, then I'm going to move on to a quad, to a hamstring, then attack some smaller muscles, hip flexor, things like that, so we're going to work through, we're going through two more. A kid. Good, pretty good rep speed, one more time. Come on, where you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Engage. 